Hello everyone, this is Amritpal Singh. Welcome to the next video of R Programming Language. In this video, I'll be talking about text mining. It means how we can perform text mining in R and how we can generate word cloud out of this. So first of all, what is text mining? Uh, text mining also known as a data mining. It's a process of transforming unstructured data or text into a structured format so that we can identify some meaningful insights, meaningful patterns out of this, right? This is the meaning of text mining. So in order to perform text mining, we require certain packages, which I'll be covering up in this video. And I'll be showing you a little demo how we can uh, make use of it. For that, uh, I'll be using input data as this one. Uh, it's one of the very famous speech, uh, which was given by Steve Jobs in the year 2005, how to live before you die. So I'll be taking this speech data, right, as my input data, and uh, we'll be looking into the things like how, uh, what are the insights, right? How we can, uh, means uh, what are the frequently used words in the speech uh, given by the the legend himself uh, Steve Jobs let's check it out right for that I've also have uh, opened up uh, this R console let's get started and in, in, in order to uh, speed up the stuff uh, I'm, I've written all these steps in this uh, notepad file first of all we need to install some packages the packages which are required are TM package it is called text mining then we have snowball C it's for stemming. What is stemming? Let's suppose if we have our English words available like moving, uh, moved, right, and move. So it will be uh, it will be uh, stem into the move, meaning is like it will be going back to the the root. Root means move. So here we will not be considering moving or moved, right? So the root word is move. This is called text mining. St sorry, st uh, text stemming. This is for that we we use the package called Snowball C. Then we have a word cloud, word cloud meaning is like it's a way of uh, representing the data graphically, right? It's a very good um, way of representing your uh, visualization, right? Last is our color brewer. In order to uh, 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 fill the colors in the word cloud, right? We require this package. So I already have installed this package. First of all, let's load all the packages which is required for this practical. So I'm loading all the packages together in my R console. Let's get started. First of all, I'm loading all the four packages. You can see it here, text mining, snowball C for st uh, text stemming, word cloud for word cloud generator, R color brewer for the filling the colors in the uh, word cloud, right? Moving further, uh, so I've already, what I've done is I've already have put all the text from that website into this text file. So this is my input data, right? Which I'll be using for this practical. So, okay. So let's move further. After we have loaded all the packages, what we require is we have to now choose the file so that we can uh, start with the uh, processing. So first of all, I'll be running this command in which uh, uh, if I run this command, it will uh, demand me to uh, give the path or give the name of the file so that it can load the file into the INP variable. So in this case, they say that give the file name. So the file name I've, I've put here as stevejobs.txt. So let's check out in INP if I got the result or not. Yes, you can see that data has been uh, has coming in this INP variable. Moving further uh, afterwards, what we have to do? Next step is to uh, create a corpus. So what is corpus, right? The corpus is nothing but the collection of documents, right? We call it as corpus in the uh, uh, in the text mining terminology. It's a list of document we can say. In our case, we just have a single document. So let's convert into the corpus. So I'm just putting in the out variable here. So let's see it here. I've used the uh, point vector source. So what is vector source? Vector source function creates a corpus of character vectors. So uh, I got the uh, things in the corpus uh, format so that the further uh, functions can understand the format or the data, right? So this is how uh, we can make use of corpus. Afterwards, what we have to do, we just have to now uh, replace all the special characters, all the punctuation marks, all the uh, stop words of English with the space. For that, I'm using one function called content underscore transformer. Inside this, uh, we are using a uh, uh, another function called G sub. Let me first discuss what's the meaning of content underscore transformer. I've opened up one documentation page of R. You can see it here content underscore transformer meaning is uh, it can it creates a content transformer meaning is the function which modify the content of an R object. So it takes just one parameter called fun means function. So in our case, we have made uh, the user defined function in this case, which is just replacing the uh, given thing with the space. So because of the fact we are using G sub, what is G sub stands for? So G sub function in the R can be used to replace all occurrence of certain text within a string in R means you want to replace something with something, right? 
in our case i want to replace this is a syntax this is a like parameters pattern comma replacement comma x in our case we have a pattern comma space comma x so meaning is whatever uh, is coming uh, in our path like the forward slash at the rate pipe symbol punctuation marks everything i want to convert back to the space all right so first of all we have to uh, create this so that we can pass in the tm underscore map so what is tm underscore map tm is tm underscore map function uh, is uh, used for the text transformation so let's first run this let's check it out let's first run this two space so that uh, we can have the input for my tm underscore map so tm underscore map will be uh, is a uh, is kind of transformer which will be changing the things from one state to another state mean it means uh, meaning is like currently i'm having a complete text full of special characters full of dollar signs full of punctuation marks full of like uh, uh, white spaces so it will be uh, replacing everything with the space this is the point right let's do it so in this case i'm just uh, running this query so that i'll be having two a uh, two space variable available i can pass this in my uh, this uh, tm underscore map function all right so tm underscore map it's nothing but the uh, uh kind of text transformer it will be replacing the things mean uh, it will be transforming the data from one state to another uh, state okay so you can ignore the warnings here moving further after we have uh, done this now we have to actually these are all are the steps of text mining right what we are doing currently is a text mining stuff because we are uh, like uh, uh, converting the unstructured data to the uh, into the uh, proper format proper shape right so this is all are the steps of the text mining now let me convert the things into a means any anything which is available in the upper case let's convert this into a lower case character so let's do it so in this case i'll be you can see it here uh, all my left side is all out meaning is like it is keep on changing it's keep on we are, we are keep on refining the things at earlier stage we were having uh, data full of everything now ev every step the things got refined right this is how means we are narrowing down the things like at earlier we were having everything uh, in built in the data now uh, with the uh, all these steps the things got refined so here we have converted everything into a lower case characters next is we have to now uh, remove all the numbers i don't want numbers right it's not playing any part in my text mining stuff so i want to remove the numbers as well so this is got done moving further we have a stop words so what is stop words let me first show you the stop words are nothing but the you can if you can call stop words of english what the stop words meaning is have a look you can see these are the stop words which are not playing as uh, like important roles i want to get rid of this these are the stop words right let's now uh, drop these stop words from my data for that i'm having this stop words as a function available so here we have to pass the language uh, of which you want to uh, get rid of these stop words so we have done that as well stop words have been removed now further we are now removing the punctuation marks i don't want punctuation in my data let's uh, remove the punctuation as well so the data is keep on changing right keep on refining as i've already stated last point is we have to now get rid of white space we are uh, uh, removing the white space from my data at last we have now stemming as i've already stated what is stemming is like if i'm just giving the same example now if we have the uh, word available move so move moving moved okay so the root word is move so it will be mapping the moving and move to the move so that there will be not not be a rep any repetition this is called stem it is stemming the moving and moved to the move this is the meaning right this is for this uh, we have included this snowball c package so we have done that as well so these are the stemming done now next point is to go with the uh, uh, document matrix what is document matrix it's another important stuff it's a table uh, containing the frequency of the words let's suppose now i want to see how many words are coming how many times in the data so for that we need to convert this out into a term document matrix uh, it will be containing words and its frequency so let's call the function term document matrix it is done now let's convert into a matrix with a as dot matrix function so we all know uh, that when we have a prefix as available we, it is kind of a type casting or we are changing into that particular data structure like we have as dot numeric right in this way we are using a as dot matrix afterwards uh, now let's sort the data also because i want to see which words have more frequency so i'm sorting in the decreasing order so for that we are doing this sorting sort function afterwards let's now convert a data frame out of this so we have a data dot frame function so that we can see which are the words which are coming like frequently in this data let's now print the data top 10 words with the head function 
So let's see what are the uh, top 10 words available. These are the top 10 words available, the words and in their frequency. It means life word is coming 17 times, college is coming 14 times in this way. All right. So moving further, uh, last point is now let's draw the word cloud of the, out of this. So for that, I, we got multiple things available. Okay. So we have a lot of things available. Let me first uh, call the function. Then I'll be explaining the things step by step. Let's see it here. I'm calling the function. First of all, we have, we are selecting the word out of this data frame. That's why we're using dollar frequency. We are just calling the frequency, selecting frequency from, from this data frame. I want a uh, minimum frequency means, uh, whether you want to display the word with the minimum frequency or not means if, even if the word is having one frequency, it is coming once in the text. I need to display in the word cloud maximum words. I want to display 200 words, random order. It's up to you whether you want to randomize the words or not false. Rotation per person meaning is whether you want to rotate the word means you want to uh, rotate the words or not. It means how much you want to rotate. Okay. Then we have a colors means you have to now fill the colors with the particular notation. Okay. We are giving some uh, like dark to it will be giving you some color to the uh, word cloud, right? This is the meaning of everything, right? Let's see if I press enter, it should generate the word cloud. You can see it here. The word cloud got generated. So what it, how you can interpret this word cloud, right? If you uh, like, suppose because life is coming the maximum number of time, that's why life is shown in the middle with the bigger font size, college with a bigger font size, right? Drop with a bigger font size, right? Apple with a bigger font size. It means they have a more frequency. If you can see the words at very extreme end, it means they're coming very less in the text. This is a meaning, right? So the words which are coming in the core of the word cloud, they are, they're appearing more in the, uh, in the text, right? So this is the meaning of word cloud. This is how we can generate word cloud out of the data. So I guess you must have understood the concepts of the uh, text mining and the word cloud. If you have any uh, point, if you want to ask any question, just uh, uh, like uh, drop me a comment, right? I'll be uh, reverting to your comment. Thanks for watching guys. See you in next video.